Hey, it's Mark with Mark's Virtual Real Estate Channel, back with another Upland video. I know it's been a while since I've done one, and there's a few things I want to talk about, including doing another contest. This will be our 50th contest, and we're going to do some extra things in this contest as well, which may or may not be exciting to you. We'll see. All right, Upland is a virtual trading game. You can buy properties, trade properties, collect yield, build on them, do all kinds of interesting stuff. Um, I started Upland as a real estate investor in real life because I thought it was pretty cool how the real property lines were the same and they've released quite a few cities over time. I've also been critical of Upland with some of their strategies and pricing and different things lately and um, I am completely changing my mind on that. They, no, not really. Um, they do some good stuff. They do some bad stuff and uh, we'll see how it evolves going into the future. Uh, the last city release was Washington DC. It was fine but pretty expensive. Um, I did okay getting some collection properties, but I haven't really sold them or done much with them since then. So overall, I mean, it was okay, but I think one big problem Upland has and they're gonna continue to have is they're not attracting new players and people don't wanna spend Upix on secondary markets for the most part, or dollars. So the real fun part of the game is minting properties, buying properties, making money, and it's hard to do that with those two issues. I'm not saying you want to take advantage of new players, but um, new players can be excited when they feel like they're getting good deals or have opportunities, and the last few releases have not been made for new players. They've been made for existing players, even whales, you could say, with how expensive properties are. And I've had some people say, oh, well, that's why Trenton and um, Bakersfield were made for new players. I'm like, well, how are you gonna attract new players by giving them, them sorry, some of the crappiest areas in the world no offense if you live in Trenton I'm sorry no I shouldn't say I should say least exciting right I'll admit I live in Greeley Colorado right Upland is not going to put a city in Greeley Colorado it's one of the least exciting places in the country too so hopefully no one gets offended if I say that but it's just there's not a big city there's not lots of stuff to research and it's kind of like you're saying you don't care about new players or people with less money when you say hey here's this kind of city that's off the grid that no one really knows much about unless you're from there um have fun and i don't know it's a weird strategy so i think upland could be great and awesome if they made a few you know strategic changes but they don't listen to me and they've been pretty clear they don't care for me very much and that's okay um let's see i did hear now i don't know if it's about me or not but someone from Upland had posted a Twitter saying um, people with uh, social media accounts and YouTube channels that get less than 200 views need to check their ego at the door um, really attacking someone no names were given and it could have been me because I posted a video earlier about that but um, I did find it interesting like Upland's next three videos had less than 200 views or at least some of their most recent ones so maybe they're actually attacking themselves I don't know anyway um, we'll get on with more important stuff all right so um, one other thing I want to talk about, let's just go to Upland News, because there's lots of different things going on. None of them all that exciting. Uh, bundle sales. So we've talked about this in my Discord. Of course, everyone can join our Discord. The link is below in the description of this video. And um, Hackathon. Like, I'm not a hacker or online gamer or anything like that so i might be different than a lot of you and how i feel i'm a real estate investor who wanted to find an interesting investment in metaverse type of thing and virtual real estate type of thing i feel like upland is going away from that and more into gaming type of thing so maybe that's why i'm not as excited about it um cast your vote for upland's best not me i had some people saying i should have gotten an award but there's no way they'll ever give me an award uh washington dc is coming these are so old why are these so am i what is going on here? Is there a previous? This is the most... They, I know they had... Okay. I guess they don't have much going on either because there's not much here. Um, new property bundles. So I know they just mentioned something else. I feel like half their news flashes aren't on their resources page. That's not very good. Like, you guys need to keep up on that stuff. Um... The bundles, so we're talking about this, and Upland's trying to give a discount of 50% off mint price on city bundles, legacy bundles, and basically what I think these are, are just large properties they can't sell, and nobody wants to mint, 
and they're trying to get you to buy them and claiming they're 50% off. The problem with that is you have to pay dollars to buy those properties. Well, the dollar to UPEX ratio right now is like 30% or something like that. I haven't checked recently. So if something costs you 10,000 UPEX, it probably will cost you like $30 to buy. Well, what Upland is doing is saying, hey, we have these properties that cost 10,000 UPEX and you get a great deal and can buy them for $50. So they're actually more expensive than you could probably get on the secondary market. So if it were me, I would stay away from those bundles uh, unless there's an area that you just really want to try and get one. And then um, you can buy them in Ethereum type of thing. Not excited about that. I'm trying to, I'm not putting any more dollars into the game. I have um, quite a bit of UPEX because I, I actually made a loan and should be getting that back here pretty soon. And I have some properties I can sell in Washington, DC if I wanted to, but I'm not really sure what my strategy is in Upload right now. I don't know what I'm, what my end goal is, what my plan is, because I don't really know what their plan is or end goal. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird time right now in Upland. It was fun when the cities were big and cheap. And um, now it's like, we're excited if the cities aren't crazy expensive and you can buy a few properties <laughs> instead of having fun and buying all kinds of properties. Uh, and I can, I think you can see that in my release videos. I do a release video uh, on every city release. And it would take me like an hour to do a, a previous city mint and going through and researching and looking at stuff. I was excited to see what the streets were and different things. Now I just don't care. I'm like, well, I guess we'll find it. Like Pennsylvania, I know that's a good street. Got it. And then I spend like 15, 20 minutes minting if that. Like, ah, it's too expensive. I'm bored. I got to go. So we'll see how all that goes. So that was something I want to look at. I feel like there was more new stuff. The Blossom thing, it's not that hard to get your extra um, yield, but it's, they're still, I don't get it. Um, airdrop, oh, airdrop stuff. This will make some people mad. Uh, I got 1.25 Spark because I have a giant Twitter account I hardly ever use. Um, so I did their airdrop where you tweet and retweet and um, comment on all their posts. I got an extra 1.25 Spark. So they gave more Spark to people with long, older accounts, more followers, more clout. And so that worked out well for me. Um, kind of weird how they did that though. Again, it's like they keep promoting the whales and most popular people and i feel like they need to be attracting more people right um so we'll see how all that goes uh spark weekend is like every weekend now i don't get that i don't see it used to be like once a month and they it's gone now it's every weekend oh uh, haven't really heard much about spark lit right i know a lot of people are super excited about that coming on and being tradable and all that we still are waiting for that and i not to I'm just gonna say, it doesn't surprise me that that happened. I mentioned that before. Don't expect anything fast to happen with these things. A lot of times Upland will start something, everyone gets excited, and then they either don't do it or they start it and then don't finish it. So um, we've seen that a few times. And then, yeah, I don't care much about the racing stuff, any of that. So we'll see. Um, the final thing before I talk about the contest and Flash. Oh, the mission. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do something different with the contest. And that has to do with uh, Tycoons, too. I like Tycoons. Tycoons is kind of the up UPX Spark Exchange game that they have. And uh, it was really fun. I spent quite a bit of money on it, building it. and But there's a major problem with it. And I saw this in the beginning, and I wasn't sure how it would play out. And now we're kind of seeing how it plays out. And the, the price of stuff is just dropping like a rock. So it's hard to make much money on it. There's not much demand. And the simple problem is they made it, the yields, too high on the investment. So, like, for example... Um, you know, it could cost you in the past 15,000 UPEX to build a windmill or something like that. Well, at the current prices they had, well, it's not even the current prices, it's at the, um, the amount of energy that windmill makes or the, the amount of wood that lumber mill makes, you get like a 500% return or a 1,000% return per year 
for investing. And that's fantastic, except that what it does is it encourages everyone to build as much as they can, build as much supply as they can. And now we have this glut of supply in the market. There's not a whole lot of demand. And it's such a high return that people are just going to keep building and building and selling. And I feel like it's going to be really, really hard to ever have a demand meet supply. You're just going to have this continuing issue and problem of this. I don't know how they fix it though either. Now I'm not, I don't want to criticize them because I think it's, it's interesting. They're trying out something new. It's a fun um, side type of thing, second layer, whatever you want to call it. So I want to give them props for doing it, for trying to make Upland interesting. We're going above and beyond what Upland does. Um, I'm just trying to state that this is why we see prices so low. And I think it's, it might hurt, it might be really tough, but if they change the yield and what the production was of each plant or, or mill, however you want to call it, or made them maybe way more um, expensive to build in the beginning, it would even things out. It would make it a lot better because having those massive returns is just, it's impossible to sustain. If you had a smaller return, even still a decent, you know, higher return than normal, but a smaller return, it would be a lot easier to sustain it and make it interesting and fun. So again, I'm not trying to tell people what to do. It's their business. They did it. They did way more work than I did on anything on my side. I'm just giving some suggestions and ideas. So um, if anybody's listening or not, cool, but um, good job for at least trying and, and doing something cool. And maybe I'm wrong and maybe it'll be awesome, but that's just my initial observation. All right, so for the contest, all right, we do lazy node contests. We've done 49 of them. Basically, if you have a property in one of our lazy nodes, you can get a lot of help from us building that property. Now, the last couple of contests, we haven't had as much help from our lazy node members and people have been busy. Upland hasn't been as exciting, I get that, but I've had quite a few of them come to me and say, hey, um, sorry, I haven't been as active. I'm definitely willing to help out some more. So I think this contest will be better and we'll be able to get some properties built pretty quick. Here's what the rules are, and we're kind of gonna stick to these. You have to own a property in Aponsit in Queens, Henry Ford in Detroit, or Kokota in Brazil. Those are kind of our three la lazy nodes, although Kokota hasn't got as much attention. We did open it up to that one. You have to own a property there. You have to have started a build there. And to enter the contest, all you do is leave a comment on this video below with the address. Now, sometimes that comment won't stick. Try again. If for some reason, after trying multiple times, you can't get that comment to stick, go to our Discord. We have a contest tab. Tell me about it there. Now, the difference with this one, and I've had a lot of awesome um, offers from people in the Lazy Node to help with this. I will also help with this. And hopefully, it's interesting to some people. Anybody who enters, now you have to meet the entry guidelines, have a property, start a build in one of our lazy nodes. Anyone who enters, we will build a tycoon's, did I call it typhoons earlier? <laughs> we'll build it a tycoon's node on your property, right? Free of charge. Um, you have to have some trust in this because you might have to trade us that property. We build it, then give it back to you. Um, but it's a little bit of a bonus just for entering. So I know a couple of people are willing to do that. I'm willing to do that um, for anybody who enters. And maybe that'll be a little bonus to help some people out too, who maybe are just starting tycoons. Because for me, that's not a big deal. For others just starting, it could be a bigger deal. So we'll see how that works. All right, that's all I've got. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Upland right now. Let me know what you think of the contest. If you have new ideas, different ideas, we can always work on that. If you have other ways to make things more exciting, let me know there. And uh, we'll be back here in a couple of days. We will accumulate the lists. I will post it on our Discord too to make sure you're entered. And then we'll do a drawing online for the winner and um, hand out those nodes to whoever wants it as well. If you don't want one, don't worry. You don't have to do it, but it might be a nice bonus if you're looking for a little bonus. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon.